This is WB Tool News, and today we are talking about Eurobores, annular cutters versus the competition. Let's get going. Hello, everyone. Frank with WB Tool News here. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to get more tool reviews like this one, then the first thing to do is click that subscribe button. Today, we are taking a look at the Eurobore Made in Holland 3 quarter inch annular cutter versus the US made Hogan product. Both of these companies are leading manufacturers in mag drills and cutters. Annular cutters are a great tool because they make drilling into metal super easy. That's because the annular cutter is only cutting through the part of the metal where the teeth touch. The inner part of the cutter that's not in contact with the metal creates a solid piece of metal called a slug. Since the drill doesn't need to expend energy to cut up that metal slug, it can drill faster. This makes annular cutters superior to the alternative, twist drill bits. Twist drills are slower for two main reasons. First, they have to cut through and displace the entire diameter of the hole you're trying to make. That requires a lot of energy from your drill. Second, you have to pre-drill a pilot hole with smaller sizes until you reach your desired diameter. For example, if you wanted to make a one inch diameter hole, you'd have to start with your half inch drill bit, and then you'd have to go to your three quarter inch, and finally your one inch drill. These steps take time because you have to cut through all that metal and you have to switch between different drill bits until you reach your desired diameter. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the differences. The slug we mentioned earlier isn't always easy to remove, but it's crucial that you do, otherwise your work is gonna be limited to one hole. That's why you need one of these pilot pins. It is essential to have a pilot pin so that you can push the slug out. The Eurobore cutter comes with a pin, which is great because you don't have to go out and buy a specific one and figure out if it's going to work. However, the Hogan doesn't come with one, so you'll have to go get one separately, which will set you back about six to eight bucks. And make sure you get a Hogan one because they have specific pins for all of their cutters. Another big difference on these three quarter inch annular cutters is the number of teeth. The Eurobore cutter has six teeth, where the Hogan just has four. More teeth means less work on each tooth and less wear and tear on your cutter and drill. On the Eurobore model, you'll see alternating V-groove and flat teeth. The V-groove teeth are designed to cut through the metal, while the flat teeth are designed to clean up after it. All four of the teeth on the Hogan model are the same shape and depth, which means that only a few teeth are actually going to be cutting and thus blow out pretty early on in the tool's life. That's why I like Eurobore's design of six teeth alternating between the V-groove and the flat teeth. One independent study found the Eurobore cutter did 198 holes without breaking down, whereas the Hogan broke after 76. Keep in mind, for the purposes of this test, water was used instead of cutting oil. It is always best to use cutting oil to extend the life of your cutters. One big problem with cutting metal is the heating and expanding of the metal. This expansion is due to the friction from the cutter moving against the metal and can result in either your cutter or the slug getting stuck until they cool down. So, how do they avoid this? First, when the slug is heated up, it will expand and get lodged inside the cutter. To prevent this, the cutters are tapered on the inside to provide more room for the expected expansion of the slug. Second, there are small spiraling raised edges along the outer perimeter of the cutter. This design minimizes the surface area of the cutter with the metal, reducing on friction and heat, allowing you to drill away without getting stuck. Between the convenient pin, number of teeth, style of teeth, and heat reducing technology, Eurobore stands out on top of the competition. Have you used either of these cutters or do you have any questions? If so, put them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and check out our other videos on WB Tool News. Until next time, keep working and take care.